When anemones walk or move across your tank, that can be a real problem. You see, this is a group of anemones and when they're happy, they usually stay in one spot. You see this bubble tip anemone's foot right here? They like to anchor their foot to the bottom of the rockwork. Now, this guy is happy and his foot is anchored and he's comfortable right where he's at, unless something changes. Like if there's changes in the environment or in my case, the water flow changed. And if they become unhappy or if they just need a change of scenery, they can walk, move, and just slide into someone else's territory. And so that's exactly what happened. This bubble tip anemone found a new place, a new home right next to and on top of my toadstool leather coral. He started doing laps around the toadstool leather coral like they're gonna be best friends. So what do you do when a bubble tip anemone decides to make a move? Well, here's what I did. Now this bubble tip anemone had traveled from the right side of the tank with all the other anemones to the center of the tank right up on my toadstool leather coral. It wasn't buried deep inside the rock work or in a hard to reach area. I knew that this was my chance. This was my opportunity. So the plan of action is to remove the anemone and transfer him to this tank lamate. So I prepared the tank lamate in advance so that it's ready and in the tank for when I get this guy off the toadstool. So here comes the tricky part because you have to be very gentle when dealing with anemones. One way that you can remove them is by gently massaging their foot and getting them to detach from wherever they're holding on to. And that's what I did. I began to massage the foot of this anemone very gently and slowly and as careful as I could. Now as I was doing this, I will say it wasn't easy because he wanted to have a stronger foothold and he began to move around as I was massaging the foot. But I kept at it. I was not going to give up. One thing about doing this with your arm in the tank for this long, this took about 30 minutes or so to get this guy to detach from the toadstool and the surrounding area. You can feel it. I begin to feel it in my arm. So you want to keep at it, keep massaging, be nice and easy with the anemone. And one thing that you do not want to happen is to tear the foot because if you tear the foot that could spell disaster for the anemone and with the bubble tip in the position that it was in on the toadstool leather it gave me more of a smoother surface to try and get this anemone off. If it was stuck to the rock work or in the crevice of a rock it would be much more challenging and much more difficult to try and remove and if that was the case I would try to wait for it to move into a different position. There are other things you can try like freezing some water in a water bottle and rubbing its foot with the frozen water bottle. The change of temperature may help it detach and make it want to move. So you can try that if you're in a similar situation. It's also a good idea to wear gloves like this because it helps for a gentle easier touch your coarse skin or your fingernails aren't gonna rub against the anemone when you're trying to remove it so finally after about 30 minutes of battling this anemone he's finally in the tank lamate where he can be safe and sound and just comfortable and move around as much as he wants and not bother anyone so there he is nice and safe and contained in my tank lamate for now he can definitely be passed along to another reef hobbyist if anyone would like a bubble tip anemone. Now, if you wanna learn five easy tips to be successful with bubble tip anemones, I made this video right here just for you. Go ahead and click or tap your screen to see that. Thanks so much for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one.